Have you ever had the desire to binge watch a bunch of movies just like you would a TV series? Well, that is where Plex playlists come into play. No pun intended. Ah yes, Plex playlist. I actually made a video where I was talking about how to sort your movie library. So, you know, movies would show up in the proper order if they didn't have the correct names to do it naturally. Like for example, Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3 showed up just fine. But a series like James Bond, for example, they all have their own separate names. So in that video, I did talk about renaming those in order for them to show up correctly. You can check out that video in the cards above. But in today's video, I wanna talk about playlists. Now, Playlists are kind of cool for Plex because it literally allows you to create a playlist that will automatically play the next movie as soon as you're done watching the first. You know, just in case you want to sit down one weekend and say, I want to watch every single Star Trek movie that's out back to back because that's what cool people do on their weekends. So to jump right to the point, creating a playlist is super simple in Plex. Let me show you how to do it. Now keep in mind, I will be showing you how to do this from the Plex web player that you can access with your browser, but there are some players out there that already has this built in, but your menu system will be a little different. Either way, go into your Plex media server through your browser or through your favorite client, access the library of which holds your movies. In this particular instance, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Bs for Back to the Future. And on the first movie that you wanna add to your playlist, hover over the poster art and look for the three little dots in the bottom right of the poster. Click on this and from a drop down menu, you should see an option to add to playlist. In the pop-up, if you don't already have a playlist created, you can create a new one and it should automatically fill out the name of this playlist based off the original movie that you chose. So you click here to add your new playlist and boom, you have a new playlist. Of course, this isn't a playlist if you only have one movie. So if you click the back button, you should be back to the original movies that you were looking at. Click on Back to the Future 2 or whatever your movie it is that you're choosing and repeat the process of adding this to a playlist. The only difference here is that you already have a playlist available, so you're just going to add it to the pre-existing playlist. After you do this, it shouldn't change your screen, so you can continue to add as many movies as you want to this playlist. Once you've completed your task, you can go to the left-hand side of your server, click on the playlist link, and you can see the new playlist that you created. Side note, I'm starting to feel like me saying playlist in this video should be a drinking game. Just throwing that out there. From here, if you click on the playlist, you can either directly play it from the poster shown or you can click into it and play it from that screen. As soon as the movie completes, it will automatically start the next movie after a small countdown. You can use this interlude for something like a bathroom break or running to get another drink. Just throwing that out there. Either way, this is a great way to keep a collection of movies in a playlist that you might like to watch back to back on certain occasions. It helps to keep them in the correct order and allows you to quickly access that movie series without any issues whenever you so choose. And really, it's that easy. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them down below. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a good night. Let's talk about Plex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about.